Hey guys, so I'm going to try my hand at doing some multicolor on my Bamboo Lab P1P without the AMS. Never done this before. So what I want to do is I want to print this plate cover for a dummy load, but I want all that print on top to be in yellow. I have this purple. It's actually I'm doing some test prints, so this is some used up color changing. When this turns warm, it turns like a pink. When it's cold, it stays like this dark purple. So let's see how to do this in the software. All right, so from what I understand, because like I said, I've never done this before, and I'm doing it from my camera to my screen because I want to be able to uh, not narrate a video, but talk while I'm doing it. Because I've never done this before, so we're all going to learn at the same time. So, I understand. I go to prepare to get up a blank, get up a blank uh, bed. Get my file, which is this, um, let's see, 4SQRP dummy load case. And take the lid. And drag it on over. So you can see it has that writing on it. So, and that writing is, is uh, to make this easy, it's on top of a layer. It's not within a layer. I, I have no idea how to do that yet, so I've got to figure out figure that out myself. So, what I understand is I go ahead into preview, let it slice it. Uh, get this out the way. And then bring this slider down. It, this is for each layer. So, I can come on down, all the way down to the bottom. Go through each layer until I see the first layer that has the print. There's the first layer that has the print. Then right click on this plus sign and hit add pause that's going to add a pause then slice plate now the whole thing is sliced but there's a pause right where that text starts <clears throat> so i'm going to change filament because right now i have some transparent filament in the printer that i was doing for some led tunnel for this thing um but I might as well show you how to change filament. So I did this little mod here. So you can put an iPhone on here. This to my pen. Then I, you come in here. I can see it's not unsubscribe. Please, un, please resubscribe. It's reconnected. Go to your printer. And then what I want to do is I want to un, I want to turn up the heat. And hit done. Should start heating it up. I love the way this thing works. I love how fast it heats up. My Tronxy takes quite a while to heat up the nozzle. Not not too long, but a little bit, quite a bit longer than this. And, and the bed takes forever because it is a pretty large printer, 500 millimeter printer. So, once I get up to about 190, you can go ahead and hit unload. And you can do all that on here. It's just a little bit of a pain with this little thing here. Now you should feel the back of the filament once it comes back you'll feel the filament suck in a little bit and then start coming out once you feel it come out you can start pulling on it to get it to come out all the way once it's out take that roll out i'm going to change this with some some more of that purple whoops Put that purple roll in and then take your filament. 
I get some light here. And then go ahead and push it up into the tube and push it all the way up until you until it stops. Get it in there. There it goes. Okay, push it all the way up until the filament stops. I'll do with one hand. You'll feel it stop. Then come in and you have to turn your temperature back up because it automatically drops. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bright. But once it unloads, it automatically shuts off the heat. So you have to go back in and turn the heat back up. Once it gets back up to about 190, 200, then you can go ahead and start hitting the extruder to bring filament in, and you got to kind of push it a little bit. Come back in here. It it does just a little bit at a time, so you have to do it a few times until until you don't have to push it. You can let go of it, and you'll feel it going in then I usually do it about five or six times because you want to be able to I don't know if we can see but you want to be able to see the filament you can see it squeezing out there but right now it's clear because it's still squeezing out the rest of there you go it's perfect now you want to be able to squeeze, have it squeeze out the rest of the clear that was in there. All right, that's it. Now you can leave it where it's at. Oops. Come back over to your computer and start your print. So from what I understand, this should Print all the way up to that layer and then pause. In which case, I'll be back. And uh, once it pauses, I'll show you what, uh, what you got to do then. All right, so she just paused. So I'm going to come in here. And go into my... It says that it's paused says to hit resume, but what I'm gonna do is go into print and go up, make sure I'm back up the temperature. It goes climbing back up. Now it's over 190. I'm going to unload. Feel the filament. Because when it gets ready, when it unloads, you'll feel it suck in and then start pushing out. So it's pushing out. Go ahead and pull it. Now, take this spool out. And we're going to, whoops. We're going to go with some yellow. I mean, this is just a test print. I've never done this before. So, let's see how it goes. Let's get this on the, in the world. Get on up in there. There it goes. Then, 
push it up into the tube and push it all the way up until you feel it stop. There you go. Heat it back up. I'm just hitting 220 and then done. Never done this before, so this is first time for me. So then I want to go ahead and hit my extruder to go ahead and push it. Make sure I push it up into it until the extruder grabs it. Look in there, I should see when I see some yellow. Got some yellow in there. Should be good. That was about four or five hits on the down arrow. Be careful not to hit the cutter. Or, no, that's not the cutter. That's just the extruder. So make sure you hit the down arrow. Bring it up. Make sure it's at print. Go ahead and close this window and hit resume. Let's see what it does. Should do a nozzle clean and then start printing. Let's see what I get. I've never done this. So. <laughs> this is all. Oh, got some yellow print. So when it's done, let's see what it looks like. All right, this is what I meant by color changing. You notice as this, this is still kind of warm as it's cooling. It doesn't feel warm, but as it's cooling, it's starting to darken. When it's cold, this is what it looks like. When it gets warm, it looks like this bright pink. Um, it's a pretty cool filament, but I had some extra because I did some pots for it, but you can see how this turned out. That turned out good. I like that. Got a little extra something here on, on there. So I got that cleaned off. I like that. So I still need to experiment changing uh, colors on the same layer. I don't I don't know how to do that. So I gotta I gotta experiment with that and learn how to do that. But I do like this. Um, might build some more of these um, for a friend of mine. But uh, yeah, so that's how you change colors uh, at a certain layer on the P1P. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same way for a regular 3D printer. You have to do it manually. If you get the AMS for the uh, Bamboo Lab printers, then it does it automatically. You set it and you don't have to pause. You actually set the colors in the slicer and it does it for you. So if you got any questions, hit me up. I'll talk to you all later. Subscribe.